Hello friends, welcome to Coding Friday and with the screen as you guys already can see that I'm about to start tutorial on Azure Service Bus and the headline says live demo. Yes, if you guys already have seen my previous videos based on, uh, you know, Ocelot, based on um, uh, TypeScript and other uh, technologies stuff as well, you have uh, noticed that everything what I do, I do in a practical demo. So going with the same process, uh, I will be doing the, uh, you know, the practical demo of the Azure service bus. I'll create a couple of microservices and uh, we'll see that how the data can be, you know, communicated between those uh, two microservices. And uh, yeah, we'll do all, all of this in a bit. So first thing is that Azure portal I'll be using. So you uh, should have the account created on the Azure portal. We'll see if you don't have the account, don't worry. Then of course, uh, you know, before I jump into the directly on the demo, it is important to understand why we actually you know practically need this as your service bus so we'll uh, have some sort of uh, overview of microservice architecture not in detail of course and then we'll see the use of service bus and of course the practical example uh, i'll be using the visual studio 2017 and of course the azure portal what i mentioned now in the azure port portal itself there are two things one is that either you can uh, you know uh, do on the on the website or also you can create the local emulator i have separate videos of uh, you know how you can uh, create the local emulator already posted in my youtube coding friday channel you can go and watch those videos and yeah the code which i'm uh, going to do in a bit it is also available on a github and the link is uh, provided in the description too okay now let's uh see first of all okay so let me just first of all explain what is the uh let me put it here yeah mm, maybe here okay so the microservices architecture uh like you guys already have uh, worked on the mono monolithic application now what what is monolithic application in a, in a simple i am not going to use any you know uh, lines from the internet or i am not going to in detail with the theory of what is monolithic application what is microsoft the simple term is that in the monolithic application you keep all the code in one solution that if you have the business layer you have the data layer you have the ui that every layer resides in the same solution and also you make use of the multiple uh, you know third party services or even different services all those services are also kept in the single solution if you are making use of any generic solution any common library any api any validation anything that is a solution that means when you deploy your code when you when, when you're done with the code and you are about to deploy a code that means all the code entirely has to be deployed on the server at once now let's say the biggest problem with the monolithic application architecture was that let's say if, uh, if any of the uh, you know line of code if any bugs occur accidentally then to fix that after after you fix that actually you have to redeploy the entire code once again even though the other layers are not uh, impacted with that code code of line but they are now impacted because you are redeploying and that everything needs to be rechecked that is a problem with the monolithic application teams if you are uh, working within the teams then you know all the teams cannot work on the same solution it, it might although you can use make use of tfs gate and that uh, would actually help you in uh, uh, enhancing this communication uh, between the team members but you might face the uh, uh, some conflicts as well as well third problem let's say uh, you are you are working enterprise application or in a real scenario application that then, then you have the thousands of files itself in the in the application and uh, let's say you run a build i'm talking about let's say angular application then you just run run a build command then have you have you i think you have guys already seen or faced this problem it takes five minutes ten minutes even longer than that time now every developer who is fixing a couple of lines of bug he want to see the output in the uh, in the in the chrome and he has to wait again for the 10 minutes that is the problem with the monolithic application that means that everything is a one solution the concept of the micro the concept of the microservice service architecture came into the picture where you have uh, splitted those uh, functionalities right let's say you have some functionality you added in a different microservices and you have dedicatedly x team working on that microservice and this microservice has its own database as well so this is the concept of micros let me just give you an uh, example of uh, paytm uh, website let's let's assume this is a website this is a paytm we all know about this now you can see we have mobile prepaid over we have electricity dth recharge metro all those stuff so what what do you think that paytm has deployed all at once let's say uh, in a landline 
surveys uh, there is a there is a bug then why the other person who is who is doing the cable tv recharge uh, suffers and that is the problem which is now solved with the architecture of microservices this each menus which you are seeing right now based on the functionality based on some sort of criteria paytm has decided to create different microservices for each one and that means they deploy differently uh, each microservices and if bug is occurring the landline then other person can easily make use of easily can access the dth recharge and this is what we do now as we uh, this is this is again a short definition uh, as i said that i won't go in the detail so now since you have a uh, microservice architecture in place and what's the problem problem is that how you gonna uh, you know communicate between the microservices it, it happens right you have let's say user microservices then it places the order then you want them to interact with each other they want to send the data to each other a lot of time right so the problem is microservices uh, how uh, the communication takes place between the microservices here's the concept comes of the zero service bus which we were just talking about what just consider service bus uh, this is the two things which i mentioned it topic and queue this is a, something which service bus make use of uh, these things or either of the, the, the thing either the topic or the queue one to uh, make this possible we'll see in a practical example how it uh, happens so just consider this is a microservice one and that microservice one wants to send the data to microservices three so what you have to do in the microservices one you have to make it a sender and microservice three it has to be created in such a way that it has a active listener now when i say active listener that means microservice three is 24 cross 7 that means continuously listening for something it is waiting for something to come so what microservice one uh, do uh, they make use of service bus they added a key here and then attach the data whatever the data wants it wants to send and using the topic it sends the data to the microservices c the moment it loads the data the message count on the server automatically get increased by one right and this is a microservice three which is as i said you have to make it active listener and the moment it see that the message count is one it picks up the data it listen based on the key so so the send key and the listen key these are the two important things with which these are connected so this is the way okay so it receives the data and the moment it receives the data the message count again gets to zero one thing is that in real scenario when you're doing in azure portal you will not see happening this like message count increasing to one and then decreasing to zero but we will put some sort of debuggers and we'll pause our course so that we can practically see how it is uh, you know quickly happening in the real scenario so that's all uh, about overview of microservices uh, architecture and the azure service bus in next tutorial i'm just uh, going to start on the uh, demo part thank you for watching this thank you